So with regards to avian flu or, or bird flu, we are definitely taking this seriously. Um, this is the first time we are seeing avian flu uh, in cattle, in cows. Um, we haven't seen that previously. Obviously it had been in chicken, poultry uh, before, and that is where our heavy efforts have been in terms of monitoring. Uh, so the fact that it is in cattle now is a uh, you know, definitely raises our concern level and we have some work to do to better understand that. The virus is the same uh, strain of the virus that we have seen in chickens um, in the past. So it's not a new strain of the virus. So this is known to us and we've been studying it. And frankly, we've been preparing for avian flu for 20 years. Unlike COVID, which is a completely novel or new virus, avian flu is known to us. Um, and we've been thinking about vaccines and treatment and tests um, for quite a number of years. Um, but this is a new development. Cows, mammals, um, being a reservoir gives this virus new opportunity to change. And that's what we're watching for really closely. Has this virus changed or is it changing that would make it more likely to spread from human to human. The good news is right now in the United States, we've never had a documented case of human to human spread of avian flu, but that's what we're watching for um, to understand how this virus is changing. Today, it's the same version of the virus, but that, as we've all learned through COVID, uh, these viruses change very quickly. So we are, are needing to watch it closely. We have to sequence these, we have to stay ahead of it.